To me, Global Reach Out is inspiring. It's connecting with God, reaching out to the world, and impacting life. The stories that I shared is so personal and it deeply impacted me. Global Reach Out to me is reach out to the truth. Connecting hearts, connecting lives. You're listening to Global Reach Out. Welcome back to our session on bringing heaven home. The world needs a father. In our last session, we learned about what it means to be a child of God and the importance of developing family value and to understand our primary and secondary identity. Today, in our final session about identity is to work out a table of support based on our primary and secondary identity. So here we are. Values determines decisions and decisions determines behavior. We will not know who we are unless you have determines your top five values. That's why it is important for us to choose our own values. Secondly, it is the friends that we choose. Even when our children are small, obviously it is more important when our children enter into group adventure, phase that is the teenage phase. Helping them to choose the right friends is absolutely important. How do you choose your friends? What are the value system they have? Is there something that you can contribute to their lives? What you want them to be and to them and not what they want you to be to you. These are the things that you want them to choose the right friends that you want to surround their lives to be with. Our children know in our life that our life is surrounded with a table of support, filling with key people demonstrate who I am. You are the people that you surround yourself with. The people closest to you not only determine who you are, they also express who you are. Your children will understand much more about you by the people that you allow close to you and other people will know how much more about you by the people you surround yourself with. These people take responsibility to help you develop holistically in all the spheres of your life, be it spiritual, emotional, social, intellectual, physical, and even the environment of your life. So, who do you have close to you? Here is the table of support that indicates the kind of people you should have close to you to make a real impact on your life and through whom you may make a real impact on other people. They are the mentor. He or she is the person who is our whole life coach. The mentee. He or she is the person who we do whole life coaching with. The coach. He or she is someone you train us in a specific skill. The training. He or she is someone you train in a specific skill. The hero. He or she is someone we have the highest admiration for who are maybe not be able to become like this person. The family member, he or she is the person in the family who has very close emotional intimacy with us, almost like a soulmate within the family. This will be someone in the family with whom we will be totally transparent. The inner circle, he or she are friends who are real soulmates, same gender. Your spouse may not be the one of these 
people. The successor or validator, he or she is the person who will take the baton of our mission in life and runs with it when we are no longer around. A cross-culture friend, he or she is the person from a different culture to yours from who can enrich your understanding of life by helping you to see things from a different perspective. Implemented choices determine identity. We actually work on our identity on a daily basis. Make a choice. When you have to make a choice and don't make it, that is in itself a choice. Then the world we live in makes the choices for us and defines our destiny. Very often, we allow our children to grow up with a victim mentality. They fall into a blame game and a shame game and take very little responsibility for their destiny in life. We should be intentional and teach our children to take responsibility by making and implementing right choices. For example, Viktor Frankl learned from the challenges of the Nazi concentration camps that if a situation cannot be changed, if suffering cannot be avoided, what is retained is the freedom to change ourselves. Determine who and or what will be your head office. When you have made any decision, you consciously or subconsciously reflect the decisions determined by your head office. Your head office is the most determining influence on your life. What or whoever that is will determine how you make your choices. Make choices for one facet of life. The choices that you make in all the six dimensions of human being are a clear expression of your identity. Fathers should keep their children to make the right choices in each dimension of life. You should make an effort to understand which aspects of your child's personality are biological and are unlikely to change and which can be chosen or work on. The six dimensions that make up the human being, first, physical. To be cool, slim, fit, attract attention and fashionable. Spiritual. Committed, influencer, principle bound, disciplined, and faithful. Emotional, stable, enthusiastic, exciting, different, intense, and relaxed. Social, warm, fun, solid or genuine, listener, adventurous, caring. Environmental, create a new culture, fit in with culture and being rich. Finally, intellectual, hard worker, creative, sharp, philosophical, calculating and knowledgeable. Everyone should make his or her choice and understand the consequences of each choice. Choices have consequences and every choice that you make from the list above has consequences. For instance, if I decide I want to be physically fit, I cannot dream myself into fitness. I have to train myself into fitness. This means hours of pain and sweat. How do we implement choices? We have seen that identity is derived from our past and the values, the friends, and the choices that we have made in the present. Now, we move to what determines my identity in the future. Identity in the future to leave the right mission. Who do I intend to be, to become in the future? It is the dream that you live for and the calling you have. That is your future. You become, that is your calling. And that identifies who you are in the process of living life. Every child should start knowing their purpose and identity at the age of 10 and 11 years old. 
this is my purpose and this is my identity. I am so secure in this, therefore, I can enter my teenage phase and not feeling established in my identity, but also confers some identity into this identity list of group. I think you want to make your child a leader among others. And the best way to do this is to confer identity to your child. Your child will know who he or she is and that they were established an imprint to their peers. In conclusion, a father confers identity by one, helping his children to see the past and hold only on to the beneficial parts of their heritage. Two, holding on to the right values, associating with the right friends and implementing the right choices in the present. Three, directing his children to stay on the course of the beneficial mission they have embarked on. As parents, we must help our children to answer the question on identity because they will look to us for answer more than anyone else in their lives. All the family members should have a mission statement. This should be the subject of the most regular discussion in the house. The program is proudly presented by Global Reach Out. We welcome you to share our live enriching webcasts with family and friends through our website, global-reachout.org. Let's reach out to bless more lives together.